Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Laura and this is Small Stuff Big Family. Today I'm going to be doing a different type of video for you. I was tagged for the first time ever in a like tagged type of video. Is that even the right way to say it? I don't know. It's my first time. I'm Tony from The McKinney Life. She had tagged me in this video. It's called Never Have I Ever Mom Edition. So I'm going to be answering um, 11 questions that she had posted in the description of her video. I will link her video down below so you can check out her answers to the same questions. And then at the end of the video, I'm going to tag three people and I will link their channels down below. I'm also going to be getting ready for our day in this video so I'm going to be doing my makeup and answering the questions at the same time. So let's get right on into it. The first question is have you febrezed or body sprayed a dirty clothing item and worn it? Um, honestly I don't even think I think I just like would skip the Febreze and the body spray and I just wear dirty clothes sometimes <laughs> although I don't know if it would really be considered like dirty clothes things like my jeans and my hoodies sweatshirts things like that like even sometimes I'll wear an outfit and if I'm only wearing it like in the evenings, say I just wore sweatpants because I'm working at home all day and then evening I want to, you know, we've got to go to dance class or something like that. So I'll throw on like jeans and a t-shirt and a hoodie um, and go out in that. I will probably just end up wearing that same outfit the very next day because I feel like it's not worth like wasting an entire outfit. I feel like it's not even dirty if you just wear it for a very short period of time like that. And with a family of seven, we have enough laundry that if it's not actually dirty, like it doesn't stink the next day, <laughs> I'm just going to wear it anyway. I'm not even going to Febreze it. Like it's not that big of a deal. Um, if it was like dirty enough where I felt like I needed to use the Febreze on it, um, then no, I would not do that. I would just get a different pair of jeans or a different shirt or leggings or whatever. I don't know if you guys are interested or not. I use the Milani um conceal and perfect two-in-one foundation and concealer I don't know I think I like watching people do their makeup so I guess I can tell you what I use I'm not like a pro by any means I just kind of do my own thing <laughs> um and I have like pretty like much like the same makeup routine down every single day um so the concealer that I use and I've got like this big zit right here I'm sure I'm about to get my period um this is the CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer. Anyway, the second question is, have you thrown clothes in the dryer to avoid ironing them? Um, I don't even, no, we do own, we do own an iron. I have used it one time and that was to get wrinkles out of our table runner after we had washed it. <laughs> I would be much more inclined to use an iron on something like that than I would be to use an iron on actual clothes. Um, we just, yeah, we don't iron our clothes at all. So that being said, if, if there are wrinkles on it, I will like spritz it with just like a little bit of water. We have like just little spray bottles that just have water in it and um, toss it back in the dryer if it's something that's really wrinkly. Um, and that usually does the job. That usually gets the wrinkles out. So that's a yes. Um, question number three is, have you thrown a dish slash Tupperware away to avoid washing it? I mean, who the hell hasn't, to be honest. I, if you have never done that, I don't think that we can be friends. And not anything personal against you, just that you will probably be judging me because I have done that many times. We will find things <laughs> that get shoved to the back of the fridge. The only type of Tupperware that I won't throw away is our glass Tupperware. We've kind of made the transition from like plastic Tupperware to most of our, I would say at least half of our Tupperware now is glass. Um, and those I won't throw away because those can be clean no matter how nasty it gets. Oh, and by the way, this uh, powder that I was just using to kind of like set my concealer areas, this is the Bare Minerals like loose powder foundation. Um, yeah, sippy cups are another thing. I don't feel like you're a real mom if you haven't thrown away a nasty sippy cup that you found like shoved under the one of the seats in the car or under your child's bed or behind the couch. This is the Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick. I am not the best and I don't really like a lot of lipstick. I like just like having a little bit of color on my lips. 
But yeah, I definitely have thrown away many Tupperware containers and many sippy cups. Nation, I just got this recently in like a boxy charm. It's the Wonder Beauty Trip for Two Blush and Highlight Bronzer Duo. And I just, I like to put it on my cheeks and my nose. I like to have a little bit of a sun-kissed um, look. And I put a little bit under my chin too, just to bring the color down there. Number four is let the kids win a game so it could be over already. I don't know if I have ever done it just to like let the game be over, but I've definitely let my kids win just for the sake of just letting them win before. Um, I like playing board games. That's one of like my favorite things to play with my kids because I don't know, like your imagination, I feel like it's just gone. Like it's not at the same level when you're an adult and when you try to play with a kid who does have a lot of imagination, trying to play with like dolls or other like figures or anything like that is kind of a struggle, honestly. Like I just have a hard time playing on their level like that. So we like playing like hide and seek and tag and um, board games are probably one of my favorite things to play with my kids. I'm pretty competitive most of the time too, so most of the time I don't let my kids win. <laughs> um, I, I don't know, especially my oldest son. I mean, he's 13 and sometimes like with his, him being into video games all the time, sometimes getting him to play a video game is the only way that I can get him to kind of come out and connect with us as a family, unless we're like out and about doing something. So I, yeah, I don't know if I have ever just you know, let them win so the game could be over, but I have definitely let them win, especially when they're really little. I mean, I'm just too good. Like, I can't kick their butts all the time. That's not very nice, you know? Question number five is, have you gone longer than 24 hours without bathing? Definitely, yes. I have definitely gone more than 24 hours without bathing. I have gone more than 48 hours without bathing. When I was a new mom, and especially when I was going through like postpartum depression, there were probably days where I would go like three days without bathing. I mean, I'm just being 100% real here. Now, do I do that on a regu regular basis now? And do I think that that's normal or healthy? No, that's a sign that you need help, as I did at the time. <laughs> if you're in that headspace where you feel like bathing on a regular basis is not a necessity, then that's a sign that you need some help. That was the Too Faced highlighter. Fancy pink diamond. I love this little box that it comes in. So cute. Have you told a child to pee on themselves while potty training? I have not told them to pee on themselves. I've never done that, but I'm not opposed to, luckily all of our kids are potty trained now, so it's been a little while since we've had to have this situation, but I can specifically remember a funny story about when my now 13 year old was little. We were looking at houses whenever I was married to his dad, um, and we were waiting for the realtor to get there so that we could be let in. Of course, it's locked and he had to go to the bathroom. And this was a house like out in the country. It was pretty far, like it was gonna be at least a five minute drive to get anywhere and he was doing the potty dance, really had to go. So I just said, you know, okay, just we'll go out over here and we'll just, you know, let you just go outside, that's okay. Like just go behind this bush, just pee outside at this random house. <laughs> so he did. Later on in the tour, after the realtor was there and we had toured the inside of the house, we were asking lots of questions as they had a lot of land. Like there was a lot to look at, a lot of questions that we were asking because we were really interested in the house. Side note, we did end up purchasing that house. Um, but <laughs> um, while we were outside for the second time and just kind of like looking around at the porches and the, and the yard space and the things that they had, he decided that he was just going to pull his pants down and go right there outside again in front of the realtor, even though there was a bathroom available. <laughs> it was really cute and kind of funny. Um, but yeah, I've never told them to like pee on themselves, but I will definitely tell them like, just go outside. You're three years old. It's not a big deal. Just find kind of like a disclosed place. Even if it's in a parking lot somewhere, I don't care if they have to go, they have to go and we'll make it work, especially when you're doing like road trips and things like that. They'll tell you that they have to go when you just pass the last intersection for miles <laughs> that had a restroom stop, and so you'll just pull over on the side of the road and let them pee outside. That I will definitely do. Question number seven is, have I told my child later, 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 until later never came? Um, 
not intentionally I I don't I don't do that like with the intention of oh maybe they'll just forget about it I'm sure that there have been times where they've asked me to do something and I'll say like okay you know like later later we can do that and then either I forgot about it or they forgot about it even um, but my kids are usually pretty good at not forgetting things especially my youngest stepdaughter if you tell her that we'll do something later you can bet that she'll bring it up and <laughs> she'll keep bringing it up until until that moment comes so if I tell her we're gonna do something later I mean it and it's just that sometimes I do have to tell them you know more than once because later sometimes to kids is like five minutes later and I mean like later on tonight like at bedtime <laughs> if I say later I do fully intend to do it with them later and they usually don't let me forget about it have I ever bought food this is a good one. Have I ever bought food and pretended that I made it? No, because I will be the first one to tell you um, that I don't cook. I do not pretend. I don't even pretend to be somebody who can cook. I told my husband, like, when we first met, I told my husband that I could not cook. He never had any type of <laughs> um, expectation that I would be able to. I can make, like, maybe two or three meals, like, pretty well like meals that I've made like over and over and over again. Um, spaghetti, macaroni and cheese out of the box. I mean, there are some things I can do, but I've never like made something for like a bake sale or taken to like a potluck or to a family event or even just in our own home and like pretended like I made it. I will fully disclose that. Like, just so you know, I did not make this. Usually I'll either have my husband make it or I'll just buy something that's store-bought. So I have no shame in that. I'll just be the first one to admit it. I just don't cook. Usually it's like you're welcome for not bringing something that I cooked myself because I'm sure whatever I bought from the store is gonna be way better. <laughs> Number nine is fed my kids cereal or noodles for dinner. Um, yes, and again, I don't know what kind of mom you are if you've never done this, especially the noodles. Like, is noodles not is that not considered like a normal dinner? Like, I guess if it's just noodles, like noodles, but like noodles and green beans and like maybe a side of applesauce and some milk, that's, I mean, that can be a dinner. Like macaroni and, what is macaroni and cheese? That's noodles. Maybe I'm not understanding that question fully. There's gotta be more to it because to me, like noodles is a legitimate, like acceptable dinner to feed your children. <laughs> now the cereal, that was a rule like when I was growing up, that was the rule. If I didn't want to eat what my parents made, then I could make myself a bowl of cereal or like a PB&J, anything that I was capable of making on my own. And you know, I want my kids to try whatever food that we have for supper, but you know, then if they're hungry later on, then they can make themselves a bowl of cereal. And there have been times for sure where we're like in a rush and we have just had cereal, like a breakfast for dinner type, and we'll have like cereal and maybe some strawberries or, you know, some type of fruit to go with it. But yeah, like that will be our dinner. I, I really don't know what, what is going on right here. I'm just kind of talking and messing with colors. Hopefully it'll look okay when it's done. This is the Ace Beauté Vintage Dawn. This was also a boxy charm. Question number 10 is, have you worn pajamas or a robe out of the house? Like just a robe? Um, hmm. So for me, I would say like pajamas for me is typically like sweatpants and a t-shirt, like an oversized t-shirt and sweatpants or like in the summertime, it'll just be shorts and a t-shirt. That is typically my PJs and I, I'll definitely like, I'll throw a bra on first, but I'll definitely go out in public and something, something like that, especially if I'm just running to like the store to grab something um I mean it has to look decent like if they're like ratty if they're actual pajama pants like pajamas I will not go to pub in out in public with that last question and this I'm just using to like highlight because there's not a good like kind of highlight under the brow bone color so I'm using this um dose of colors baked browns looks like this super dirty so this is supposed to be a no judgment free zone Keep that in mind. Last question is forget about the tooth fairy. Have I ever forgot about the tooth fairy? I guess is what it's trying to say. I 
don't think I have. I don't think that I have. My oldest son, I mean, I don't know. It's been a long time since he's like lost a tooth and like one of the tooth fairy. He's 13. I don't think that there was a time where I forgot about the tooth fairy when he was little even though. And then my younger son has only lost like two teeth. And I haven't forgot the tooth fairy for him. I actually think that he was with dad both of those times that he lost his teeth. So we haven't even done, I haven't even done the tooth fairy with my youngest son yet. Um, and then my youngest daughter, she's not old enough to be losing teeth yet. So no, I don't think I've, I've ever forgot. My husband did forget one time though. He woke up in the morning and my stepdaughter was like looking for it and didn't see anything um, under her pillow. So she was kind of like, what the heck? And my husband's like, oh, maybe you just missed it, you know? <laughs> and he came in and asking me, he's like, babe, I forgot about the tooth fairy. <laughs> and so we got some cash together and then he, um, and then he went in there and was like, hey, he's like, Michaela, you just must have, you must have just missed it. It was right here under your pillow the whole time. <laughs> so he has done it before. I don't think that I have, but again, it's been a long time since I've really had the opportunity to do the whole tooth fairy thing. I wouldn't put it past me. I would not put it past me to forget about the Tooth Fairy. It's only a matter of time, probably. This is the Grande Drama Intense Thickening Mascara with Castor Oil. I guess that's Grande Drama, is that the brand? I don't know, this was this was another boxy charm, so I'm not sure. And that is it for all the questions. I am also done with my makeup now, so I'm ready for the day. So this was a win-win. I am going to now tag three people. If you don't want to participate, that's totally fine. But I'm going to link your channels down below anyway because I just think you're awesome. If you don't want to do your makeup at the same time, you definitely don't have to. That's just something that I added to it. All you have to do is answer those 11 questions that I'm going to have in my description box. Leave those same questions in your, the description box of your video if you choose to do it. And and tag three more people so that we can keep the tag going. I think it's really interesting. If anybody does want to participate, not just the three people that I tagged, but if you are going to participate in this tag, um, let me know, send me your video, and then I will gladly add it to the description box of this video as well. Thank you again to Tony for tagging me in this video. It was so much fun. I really enjoyed answering these questions just very openly and honestly with you guys. And I'm going to tag our blended life, Dylan and Crystal. So I guess since it's mom edition, Crystal, you'll kind of have to take this one. These are all questions that a dad can answer too. So if you guys want to do it together, I think that would be fun and interesting to see. And then I'm also going to tag Jennifer G family. She's kind of newer. I'm newer to her. She's newer to my channel and I would like to do um, more and see and learn more about her. So I'm going to tag her. And I'm also going to tag another new subscriber and somebody that I've recently subscribed to as well so I can get to know more about her. Her name is Lady Goff. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, so I'm going to link all three of those channels down below. Be sure to go check them out and give them some love. Tell them that I sent you. As always, thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate you being here. Give the video a thumbs up. It really helps small channels like mine to grow. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I will see you guys again next time. I hope that you have an amazing day. Bye-bye.